Despite the many divisions that marked the two-day summit, there was one issue over which African leaders found near absolute consensus, and that is Palestine. They condemned what they described as the brutal Israeli war on Gaza, the collective punishment of 2.2 million Palestinians via the use of disproportionate power. They called for an immediate end to the war and to the Israeli occupation of Palestinian lands. On peace and security, the leaders renewed their commitment to work towards ending conflicts in the Horn of Africa, Sudan, the Sahel, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, among others. The war between the Congolese army and the M23 rebels drew direct exchanges of threats between the Rwandan president and his Congolese counterpart during the closed sessions. The Democratic Republic of Congo accuses Rwanda of backing the M23 militia. One thing must be clear for us, the first thing is that President Kagame should remove his military inside the ERC and he should stop supporting M23 as the Rwanda framework is asking for. That I, that I think this will be the condition before imagining, uh, imagining that the ERC can talk with one and side. The summit has similarly failed to get Somali and Ethiopian leaders to hold direct discussions over the controversial Ethiopian maritime agreement with the breakaway region of Somaliland. In essence, this assembly was the normal summit of the African Union, and it was not uh, a gathering to resolve a particular issue between Ethiopia and Somalia. But that certainly is a pending issue. The conflicts in Sudan and South Sudan were relegated to high-level panels outside the summit's schedule. The summit was marked by the absence of leaders from six African nations whose memberships were frozen following undemocratic changes of government. The fragmentations within the AU and other regional bodies remained unresolved. The state of disrepair within the AU itself was the main subject to be tackled during the summit. The leaders agreed that drastic internal reform is overdue if the AU is to step up to the level of the challenges it had been created to meet. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.